Hey guys, what is up? It's the man. The myth. The Legend Quad MFT here, bringing you a 118 kill game with only one death on the map Yemen in Ground War Domination using this beautiful golden PDW. And today it is Friday, so that means it's Friends Friday, and I do have a guest for you guys today. His name is Jimmy Nibble. Introduce yourself, Jimmy. Yeah, hey guys, I'm Jimmy, uh, also known as Jimmy Nipple, um, but yeah. Yeah, he's definitely one of my best friends. I've known him for quite a long time on YouTube. He probably makes some of the best content I see on YouTube. I personally try to watch every single one of his videos whenever I get the time. I try and promote his videos, and that is really why he's here on doing a dual com with me. He's a great guy. We've been friends for quite some time, probably over how, how long would you say? I don't know, about, I'd say about seven, six months. Yeah, but definitely for a long time in YouTube time. We've been good friends for a while, and we try and talk whenever we get the chance. The time difference is a little bit hard on us, but trust me, we try and talk the most we possibly can. He's a great guy. There will be an annotation to his channel on the screen right now and a link in the description below. So definitely go check him out. I think he makes some of the best content on YouTube. Also, I do have a few questions for you today, and we're going to talk. we're going to talk about first how we met. So why don't you introduce how we met? So it was back in apparently something to do with Incredible Love. To be honest, I cannot actually remember. I thought we met just randomly through YouTube. I, I cannot remember. Well, Incredible Orb, if you guys don't know, he's about a channel with around 60 to 70,000 subscribers. Definitely a larger channel that's on the map right now. He was doing a live stream back in the old MW3 days, beginning of Modern Warfare 3. And he the lobby left, so we had joined his chat on Steam. Steam is basically PlayStation Network for the PlayStation or Xbox Live for Xbox. So it's really how all the PC gamers mainly communicate. So he had a chat ready so you could join a session and play with Incredible Orb. He's a really good player. And and so after his stream was over, we both went and Jimmy asked if anybody wanted to play after. So I, I joined and we started to become friends. I guess we started to talk and we started to talk over Skype, which I guess you can say sort of strengthened our relationship, you know? So th that Yeah, now we're in love. Yeah, now we're in love. I mean, that's something that really comes with YouTube. You, you got to be in love with the person who you talk to a lot. But you can see in the gameplay, I'm going absolutely crazy. And just to tell you guys a little bit of the score streak setup that I'm using, I'm running the Orbital VSAT, the K9 unit, and the Swarm. Always a great setup meant to get a lot of kills. And another cool thing about the score streak setup is you don't have to control any of the score streaks. I really find that to be a big advantage. You don't have to control any of the score streaks. But I have a few other questions for you here today. So question number one, when you're in a lobby and he does play on the PC, he doesn't play on Xbox, or PS3. When you're in a lobby with other people you don't know, are you the type of guy to try and smack talk or just mess around and troll with them? Usually just mess around and troll with them, but if they give me smack talk, I'm definitely going to give them smack talk back because I'm a badass. No, but seriously, um, yeah, I'll just troll around with them, joke around, and half of the time they don't take it serious. Uh, no, half the time they do take it serious because it's PC, and the, the majority of them are older than Xbox and PS3, so they tend to take it more serious, like, and call you a little kid and abuse you. So, yeah, it's not, it's not that fun, but yeah. Yeah, Jimmy basically gets abused on the daily in, P <laughs> in the PC world. But I was wondering if you, you, you... Do you have a lot of fun playing PC? I know you re you recently played Xbox a little bit. I'm not sure if you played Black Ops 2 Xbox yet. But what do you find the differences? What do you like more about PC than Xbox or PS3? The thing I like more about PC is the variety in players. And um, the, the way I mean that, it's either... You either play against a terrible player because they're not used to any of the controls, or you play against a pro because they're used to the controls. Once you get used to the controls, you literally can be classed as a pro because it, you can be that good with them. And uh, it's never-ending skill, and you can keep gaining skill like time after time. And with Xbox, there's there's a huge variety of players. It's incredible. And whenever I play Xbox, like, for example, I think it was two weeks into uh, into Black Ops 2 coming out and I went around my dad's and he hasn't got Black Ops 2 on the Xbox so I was playing it playing MW3 and I got a double my 100 plus specialist gameplay on Ground War so in my opinion I think Xbox don't don't hail me for this but it's easier in my opinion and same with PS3 I used to play PS3 I used to play Xbox I've even played the Wii so I've pretty much had hands-on experience with all the consoles and um, I know what I'm talking about, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to Call of Duty. But I do have another question since Black Ops 2 is relatively new. If you could take one thing back from Modern Warfare 3 and keep it in Black Ops 2, what would it be? I think everyone knows what it would be. It would be the mod because it made gameplays that little bit better. Yes, they've got the nuclear, but come on, guys. Is, is that anything special, really? Yes, it's a nuclear. Yes, it's 30 kills without dying, which is pretty impressive. But does it blow up the whole enemy team? No, that's what made the mob amazing, in my opinion. Yeah, the mob really worked 
great on YouTube in my opinion. As you can see in this gameplay, I'm going on a huge gun streak. Yes, I did pick up a nuclear medal, but I don't really find that too impressive. Like I said back in one of my previous commentaries, I missed the Moab. I'm sure most of the people who watch YouTube missed the Moab. It was great, but don't worry, we're not going to stop posting just because we don't have the Moab in Black Ops 2. But trust me guys, we'll miss the Moab. We all will, but you know, Black Ops 2 is a great game in my opinion. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and definitely check out Jimmy Nibble in the description below and the annotation on the screen again. So Jimmy Nibble, do you have any last words? Love you and peace. Yep, see you guys next time.